together, you'll see it's actually tightening this down. Now, you don't have to be He-Man. You don't have to come over here and just really tighten them. Just simply give it a little love. Turn it till it stops, and that's all it takes. I put my little hose protector back on just like that. Now, this is ready to reinstall on the customer's reg set. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got a customer's reg set here. And if you look closely, you will notice that the front of the faceplate has just deteriorated out. It had too much force pressed on it or there's too much weight on there and eventually it just broke through. And I do have some face plates to replace this with. However, my customer actually has a separate second stage that he wants to use. So what we're gonna be doing today is installing this second stage onto this hose and that's what he's gonna be using for his primary. And I'm gonna show you just how easy this is to do. So let's get started. All right, before I get started here, guys, I want to make sure that I'm using the right tools. And like I said, this is something that you can do. You don't necessarily have to be a technician to do this, nor do you need to take it to a technician. You can very easily swap out the second stages on a hose like this. Now, when you're using proper tools, you want to make sure that you use the right size wrenches. On these particular ones, this is Marez. It takes two 17 millimeter wrenches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the hose connector here or the hose adapter here and the hose um, part or the nut of the hose here as well. And the reason you want to use two, if you just try to stick it on here and turn, depending on how tight this connection is, you can actually mess up the demand valve or the demand lever inside there. So all I'm going to do is stick one wrench on it. I'm going to temporarily hold it in place. Now this one's going to actually go on top. So you'll see once I have that on there, all I've got to do is just squeeze these two together just like that. And now the second stage should be loose and I can freely remove the hose from the hose adapter here. Just like that. Now, like I said, if I wouldn't have used two wrenches here, if I would have just used one, depending on how tight this connection was to that, when I went to go remove this, it could have turned the demand valve or the demand lever system in here as well. And of course, this is just a plastic housing and that could have done quite a bit of damage internally. Now all I've got to do, of course, is install this. Now, if you want to use a little bit of silicone lubricant, you can. There's a little tiny O-ring in here. I'm going to inspect it. It looks good. It doesn't look like I need to replace it currently. So I'm not going to do that, but I can put just a little bit of silicone grease if I feel up the need to. But I'm going to go ahead and install this. And I'm just going to simply turn it till it stops. like so. I'm going to put my wrenches back on. Now this time though, I'm actually going to reverse the way I put the wrenches. So this one actually needs to turn that way. So if I was to put it here, that's still loosening. If I put it below, like so, now when I squeeze them together, you'll see it's actually tightening this down. Now you don't have to be He-Man. You don't have to come over here and just really tighten them. Just simply give it a little love. Turn it till it stops and that's all it takes. That's one of the biggest things I see new technicians make faults on is they try to over tighten things. And you gotta remember in scuba, everything is sealed with O-rings. I can put my little hose protector back on just like that. Now this is ready to reinstall on the customer's reg set. So there you go guys, as you can see, very easily I was able to swap out the second stage for the customer, didn't even have to change the hose on it. Now if this is something that you're interested in doing, um, make sure you use the proper tools to do it. Each manufacturer is going to come with a different set of tools that a lot of times technicians are the only ones that's going to have access to those tools. But a swap out like this can be done very easily with just about any tool kit you're going to get from your local uh, scuba center. If you want to know a little bit more about servicing and things like that, check out the SSI Equipment Techniques course because it is going to teach you how to repair certain things in the field without having to drive all the way to your technician center. And that in itself could save your dive, say if you have a, a faulty mouthpiece or a bad diaphragm or something like that. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. One thing that I wouldn't make a note of here, if you have problems with your reg set, Fix them as soon as you find the problems. We're in springtime now. We're getting a ton of regs in to service and to get them out there to the customers so that they can go diving. 
I would encourage you to actually do it in the wintertime. If you don't dive in the wintertime or as soon as you find a problem, go ahead and get it fixed. That way you're not scrambling at the last minute to get your regs fixed just so that you can go out diving. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.